I have never ever in my life ever done the MLG water buggy trick. So for this intro I thought why not try and see if I can actually manage to do it. Right first try ever to do the MLG water buggy trick. Mm. Ah, okay. <laughs> Boom! Let's go! First try! <laughs> uh, well, maybe. Almost. I mean. <laughs> but hey, second time! <laughs> That's actually not bad. I actually never thought I would be able to do it, and definitely not on second try, so my plan was to plead you guys to subscribe to me because I've died so many times trying to do this, but uh, I mean, instead, maybe I have to ask you to subscribe to me because I'm so good at the water bucket trick. That's so weird to say. <laughs> Please subscribe and help a small YouTuber grow. Wow, my name is Magenta Louie and welcome to episode 12 of Warpcraft. Now, this is the first episode since the uploading schedule update. And from this point forward, I will make sure that these episodes are a lot more fun to watch. Usually I just do whatever I have time to do, uh, which could admittedly be kind of boring, but from now on I will try and mix it up a little bit and then do one third of game progress, one third of building and one third of some random stuff in every episode. So no matter what kind of content you're into, there will be a little bit of everything in every episode. So without further ado, let's get this video started. First up, I of course have to fix my nether portal ever since that creeper blew up on me like a lot of episodes ago. I've just left this open like it looks so stupid and I gotta set up some light here so it doesn't happen again. Uh, it's so embarrassing, why have I not fixed this? I've just left a crater in my base. And with that tiny repairment there, it's already looking loads better. Of course, I'm gonna return to this portal at some point and make it look really really nice maybe with some nether sticking out or maybe make it so that it looks like we can see inside the portal or something but uh, that is definitely a project for another episode because I got a lot of other stuff planned for this one. One of the things that I have planned in this episode is of course killing a lot of wither skeletons so that we can kill the weather and get a beacon. Now I had planned to do like one of those huge farms where you will get like 64 wither skulls or something in an hour. But to be honest with you guys, I really don't think I need that in this season. Uh, maybe I will do it in the next season, but for now I really don't need that many skulls. And maybe next season I'll make one of those farms and maybe uh, get some profit out of it, sell maybe just the beacons or at least the weather skulls on the uh, in this shopping district or something i don't know maybe i'll do that for another season but for this season i think we should keep it simple and uh, do something else instead so let's go to another fortress and i will explain to you uh, what we need to do to get some weather skulls i just heard a rocket hello wait what what the hell? What's that now? This lamb has on a rat? What? What's going on? Why is there lamas here? On a raft? <laughs> the ghost of Christmas past. I'm at my base trying to figure out the floor. Wait, what the hell? Wait. Nugget. Harry Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> it's Harry Nugget. What? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> what the hell? <gasps> Wait, who did this? <laughs> Let's move on with the episode. <laughs> what? Why is there? Why is there iron golems here? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what has been going on here? What the f lab? <laughs> Where did all of these come from? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> There's so many. What is going on? What? Uh, why? Why? Who did this? 
This is the same person who gave me the hair nuggets. <laughs> what is going on? Why is there so many iron golems here? <laughs> oh, my dude, what? So this is the closest fortress to my base and it is sadly not the best fortress if you want to get a lot of wither skulls but I think it will do fine for now. Uh, the most important part is to have either lava underground, be close to a soul sand valley or maybe be close to a warped forest because those biomes uh, doesn't have that high uh, spawn rates. Other than in the fortresses, of course, which is what we want. And then you have to look for these intersections here where you have four roads going each way. Because this should be the most spawnable place for the wither skeletons. So we'll have to make this part a little bit bigger. Uh, so that they can spawn uh, basically everywhere here. And I'm gonna do that for every intersection in the whole fortress and then just run back and forth. And then of course the other most important thing is to spawn proof everywhere else. Uh, so I'm just choosing to use buttons everywhere that will um, prevent anything from spawning. Uh, and then you can actually just hold your finger down whilst running like this. Uh, which you cannot do if you're using slaps. So that is the easiest way. Now I only got about 5 stacks and that will not get me anywhere. But it is definitely a start. Uh, so... Um, Let's get building. And so I did. So the first thing I did was to remove all of these tiny walls so everything was at the same level. I had a lot of trouble doing this uh, time lapse because of all the blazes that was spawning around me but hey it went okay. So I continued removing the walls and making everything level and make it a little bit bigger until I came down here to remove this lava because wither skeletons will only spawn if there's not that much light. And then I tried to stop the blazes from spawning, but I couldn't, so I had to remove the spawner altogether. And as you can see, I keep removing the walls and making the pathways a little bit bigger, and especially these intersections, I make them a lot bigger. And then this side, I chose to level it as well and put on buttons so nothing can spawn there. So they only spawn in the intersections and on the paths. And I simply just did that all the way, uh, the way around the whole fortress here. Uh, going back and forth and then making sure that there is no top of the fortress because the wither skeletons will only spawn if there's a three block high uh, spot for them to spawn on. And then I remove, remove this one as well just to make sure that they could spawn a lot easier. Uh, again the light has to go because the wither skeletons will not spawn if there's too much light. Uh, by now I should probably say that this is the first time I'm using the uh, replay mod. Oh and there you can see that's a really good example of why you have to uh, spawn proof everything else. Because the wither skeletons will spawn at really difficult places and you want them to spawn where you are. But yes this is the first time I'm using the replay mod. And I of course really need to know what you guys think about this. So it's my first time so I spend a lot of time just to figure out how to use it and especially to make this uh, video uh, specifically. But I think it turned out pretty good. Like I think this is an amazing time lapse to look at uh, personally if I may save zone myself. Uh, and if you guys enjoy these sort of time lapses instead of just a camera that's just in one place. Uh, if you enjoy this much more then I would like to know because then I will make sure to make all of my time lapses like this. On the video right now you can see that I have basically removed all the walls so that I can always see the wither skeletons even from very far away. And then I had to go up here and spawn proof of course but I ran out of buttons so I will have to do that later and then just uh, making it all bigger. So now there should be a lot more wither skeletons spawning in and I can see one behind me there so that's perfect. And I think I'm just gonna continue doing this a little bit more whilst also killing all the wither skeletons that I, that I see. And then hopefully I should have enough wither skulls uh, before this episode is over to actually kill the wither maybe in the next episode. So I will just continue doing this for a little bit and then please do tell me down in the comments below if you love to see a replay mod time lapse instead of a regular time lapse because I personally love to make that one 
and I think it looks so much better so but it also takes a lot of time so I really need to know if you guys like them or not because uh, of course I would love to do more if you guys like them as well and there we go in less than 10 minutes maybe only five minutes or something I now got three wither skulls and we can now fight the wither in the next episode that is <laughs> But for now it's time to do something different and I've actually already done something that was very very sad to do. I have removed uh, not all of the iron golems but definitely most of them and it took so much time and I got so much iron out of that. Uh, but it was very very sad that I had to kill all of them but like they were going so much in the way uh, that I couldn't really work around here at the base without killing them. So that was super duper sad and I have actually made like this memorial down here with the uh, red flowers of course. Uh, the great massacre of iron golems as a reminder of all the golems that lost their life on this tragic day. But the sadness doesn't stop there because uh, as it is right now Simon is super duper busy and he is not planning to play on the Minecraft server, not right now. He's hoping to return as soon as possible but he's just so busy. So he has allowed me to raid his base and then uh, remove this ugly ugly cube of birch wood and then make a very pretty house instead so that if he returns he will still have a house but at least it will look very pretty uh, to the background of our castle. So uh, let's get building. And that means that you are getting yet another time lapse in this episode. And as you can see, it is once again with the replay mod because I just loved making the first one so much that I couldn't help myself but make another one here in the same episode. So as you can see for the hut itself, it is nothing too grand or too complicated. It is simply just the cobblestone base, the oak locks as supports and then oak planks as walls as well as a lot of windows so there is plenty of natural lighting inside of the hut. And then I will of course make it looking a lot better uh, using a lot of details later on but I will not show that you that here on the time lapse. This is just like the core of the building. On the inside I'm using stripped oak logs uh, as the floor and then I'm making sure that nothing can spawn underneath the floor as well of course. And then out here on the porch I am making these sort of roof here with the spruce trapdoors. But now to the actual roof, I'm not very good at uh, making roofs, I really suck at it to be honest. But this actually turned out to be pretty okay using both spruce and the oak stairs here. And so here we have it, a very small and cozy cottage here in the middle of nowhere with a very overgrown garden of course because since Simon isn't here he can't take care of his lawn so of course it has to be overgrown. Uh, and of course with these moss patches here everywhere it's looking very cozy and very beautiful if I may say so myself. So if we go onto the porch here and inside. You can now see that I've decorated the inside with a carpet that matches the bed and put in some ovens and all that that you need. And of course a cute little cactus here uh, because I just love these. And uh, some flower beds outside as well and the back garden here is also very overgrown and very beautiful uh, in my opinion. So I would say this is a very uh, cozy hut and a great upgrade from what he had before and with these sort of windows up here there's lots of natural light in here but there's of course also lanterns so that nothing can spawn in here so yeah uh, if he ever do come back Simon's hut has now been upgraded and if he doesn't well it's just a very nice background to my castle so when I'm over in my castle I can see this in the background uh, looking pretty as it is. So please do tell me down in the comments below if you, what you think about this hut. I'm not very good at roofs specifically and I think this turned out pretty good. So uh, yeah, but please do tell me down below if you think this is a nice hut or not and what I could do better for another building project. But um, yeah, in my opinion, that's pretty good. So I'm happy with it. 
And here we go with yet another time lapse with the replay mod. So I kind of regret asking you guys if you wanted to see more of these because I'm obviously not gonna stop and I'm gonna do a lot more of these in the future as well. So, but please do still tell me if you would like to see these because uh, they do take a lot of time to make. Uh, but yeah, it looks so awesome. Just look at it. So uh, what I'm actually doing here is uh, putting these cobblestone border here instead of the uh, sandstone, but it is only on the outer borders here. So it is the actual wall around the castle and then the houses themselves is still uh, sandstone because that's going to be another material altogether. And of course the walls is going to be looking much more interesting later on, but for now it is a cobblestone bottom at least. And after doing the cobblestone bottom there, I really wanted to do some terraforming uh, because I want to do that before we make the actual castle. Uh, but surprisingly, I actually ran out of dirt. Like, when do you ever run out of dirt? Seriously. So I had to go farm some and like even this, even this boring task here looks so awesome with these time lapses. Just look at me go down there. It's kind of like an ant just going crazy down there. It looks so cool in my opinion. And after gathering all that dirt, I could finally do some more terraforming. And as you can see, I'm leveling the terrain with the castle so it doesn't look weird. Uh, and then over on this side, it actually got a little bit tricky because I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it look natural, but I still wanted to have a little bit of a fall. Uh, so, But I also wanted some grass to go around the castle on the same level. So I'm doing that first of all, all the way around also over here at the front. The front might change later on uh, since this is the big entrance so I might change it all together but for now I think this looks pretty good. And then I'm just filling it all up with dirt. I could just put torches so that no mobs are spawning but I wanted it to be solid dirt. And then from here there's gonna be a small fall here and I promise it will look better than this uh, later on in the time lapse but for now this is also pretty good. And then I'm just filling in here, I'm uh, deciding where I want this fall to be. And as soon as I've done that, I am moving on to making it look more natural than that. Uh, and this is actually the final part we're gonna do in this video. I have more time to do some building, but we've already been doing so much building in this episode of Warpcraft that I think I'm gonna call it after this part. And uh, then I will do some more building in the next episode. Uh, but for now you can see that I'm trying to make it look more natural by putting different levels of the ground in there, here and there, and then making everything go down to the bottom, of course. After that I am adding some stone here and there, so it actually looks like the natural mountains that you would find around in the Minecraft world, and I'm doing that in spots here and there. And then finally I'm adding some rocks going out from the wall as well. After looking at the time lapse, I can see that it is still looking a little bit blocky here and there, but don't worry, this will of course improve as we build the castle. This is only the beginning and I must say it is a solid start, but enough for that for now because this is actually the end of this episode. So I really do hope that you enjoyed this episode of Warpcraft and if you did then please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Check out the links in the description where you'll also find the link to my Discord server. With all that out of the way, thank you so much for watching.